naturally he's gifted, he's got a lot of speed, uh, great feet, uh, he, he's got the ability to see space, put, put guys into, into holes, you know, so I think a uh, big thing about Damon, he's got X, X factor, so he's a guy that can break a game open from any position in the field, um, and he's, he's quite a strong guy as well, you know, so he can, if, the, if he needs to take contact, he'll be able to manage himself with that. First few days was quite tough, um, but yeah, really happy to be back, happy to see the boys and happy to be back on the field training, doing what we love, doing our job and uh, yeah, it's been good to work with everyone, the coaches, um, it's been a while, a few months actually, um, since we last trained together and stuff, um, obviously we're still in small groups, so yeah, just delighted to be back. Monday was quite tough with the Bronco. Pushing each other um, quite hard. Um, I know Ruan and, and, and Sebi's been pushing me in the Bronco and stuff, but um, yeah, it's really lucky to be back in that dark space and uh, pushing hard. Obviously, preseason is not something that um, we as players always love, and um, but yeah, it's really to it's really lucky to be back and just to test each other and um, just to get back in that dark space. I think it's a guy that wants to improve every single training session and every single day he rides here at, at, at the field so I think that's special I mean sometimes you've got natural talent and you're a player that, that's gifted but uh, the great players always work hard at their craft. I really think this group has gone to jail now over this period we've been working hard this first few days and um, yeah I could see the guys have been training during lockdown the guys have been disciplined so yeah really excited to see the guys hard work um, just put back together into the team and to see where that takes us in the new competition. That's better. On the floor, work! Up, up, get up! Get 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 I think it's the first also for the Stormers to be in this part of the world, uh, but also one of our bigger clubs, our stronger clubs are in this area. So what is happening here this morning to, to commemorate the 67 minutes for Madiba uh, in conjunction with uh, Western Province Rugby Union and African Bank, which is a club sponsor, came up with the idea to uh, come down to this part of the world um, and they have identified this particular uh, uh, congregation um, whom they feel quite close to and they have now provided the necessary um, meals for the day and some sustenance for the family for the rest of the week or two. I remember back in the day when you know local uh, initiatives like this used to happen in my community and to have a local person there just only offers you inspiration but it shows you that there's a road to success. If someone from the area did make it then surely I can too and uh, how much uh, it's even better to have talkie here because then um, you know, some of the bigger ones may know him, but the younger ones are just looking at him as a, a big giant. But uh, hopefully that story will connect when they get a bit older. I live just like 600 meters away, but I looked on the GPS and it told me, okay, it's 600 meters away and three minutes away. It helps to uh, give um, the un unprivileged people and the unprivileged children food. And in this um, pandemic, the um, COVID-19, people are um, losing their works and people don't have food. So we're helping, we're helping the, the needy people. So I'm, I'm grateful for the Stormers and Western Province to come out and hand out packages to the unprivileged people in yesterday. He came from a community that would honestly, in most cases, would say there's no way he can be a, a success. And uh, through all of his trials and tribulations, he's here. And it's safe to say that that legacy of Mandela is still, still there and strong, but it's not just in I guess lifting a trophy, it also comes from all the coaches that were there supporting him throughout his career and that ongoing development. Um, without that then, you know, sport can't change the world, but yeah, it has. I think it's massive, especially for a little boy growing up um, in Eersterafir, looking up to John Augustus, you know, like that's probably his role model. Um, and we, I know how the people love their rugby in Eersterafir. 
if I had to take the, the, some of the guys to stand, the people were literally uh, they were losing their mind. But um, yeah, I, I know it means a lot to them. Um, I've been in a, a few um, areas around in, during lockdown and just to see the people, how happy it makes them to see us, you know, it, it really makes their day and yeah, they're just really happy to see us. It feels like we, we're part of each other. I know what I've got and I know what I can bring to the team. Um, so yeah, it's just really about staying consistent, making sure that I, I, uh, I do my, my, my best on the field and doing the departments that I need to do for the team, I do that well um, to, in order for the team to play well. And um, yeah, really excited to, to get back to rugby. Um, I've been doing a lot of work, so I'm really excited to just test myself and to see uh, all the work come together. And um, yeah, really excited to play again.